All right, everybody. It's been a minute. It's been a pretty hot around Indiana, so we haven't been on getting out. We got out a few times to camp, but didn't film it. But getting kind of dark. We're about to get set up here. Uh, me and the beautiful wife thought, hey, let's go camping Friday night with about five minutes notice. So we threw the back backpacks in the truck with the hammock setups and uh, made our way down here to the Hoosier National Forest. Found an empty spot. Wasn't too busy tonight, surprisingly. Got a about 68 degrees right now and I think it's supposed to get down in the upper 50s tonight so good camping weather so she's back there uh, unloading a little bit of firewood while I got some daylight left here I'm going to start getting the hammock set up now we got enough light I'll show you that if not I'll show you in the morning huh we didn't pack a whole bunch this is going to be a fairly short video but thought I'd break out the camera and uh get some stuff up on YouTube it's been about two months since I posted anything and it's gonna be good to be back. I got a lot in the works coming here soon. Got a, a new cooler I'm gonna do a review on. Uh, one of the Alpacool CL55, I think's what it is. Uh, fridge freezer combo. We're gonna compare it to our little one here, but uh, gonna get set up right now and uh, we'll be back. Well, by the time we got set up last night, it was too dark to film. It was pitch black, so we just uh, had a simple meal and sat by the fire and relaxed a little bit our camp chairs and stuff like that but I thought I'd take you over and show you our camp setup for the night me and beautiful wife are both using if I can get back here show you behind us that is my setup that is a one tigress under quilt a Kova cure cheap hammock and a I'm trying to remember what what tarp that is I believe it's a red camp then over here still laying in it we have behind me here beautiful wife set up she has a uh, free soldier tarp a one wind double hammock quilt 40 degree and the same hammock i have just in a different color got our uh, fancy little camp rugs here that with a uh, my messed up feet make it easier to get in and out with my socks on so I don't uh, end up with more infection in my feet than I probably already have. But uh, take you around here. We are cheating. We're not backpacking even though we did bring the backpacks. But uh, Say hi beautiful wife. Hi guys. But uh, Pretty nice little setup. Slept like a baby. Uh, brought a little camp table. Got them. Our backpacks, we, we keep everything packed in them, even though we're not using them. I have a, both of us have Teton Sports 3400s. Let me flip this up here. See. There, that's a little better. It's a Teton Sport 3400 backpack. We both have these. Hers is orange, mine's green, of course. And we've just been keeping the hammock setups tied away in there works pretty good that way we can just uh, on a whim like we did today throw the backpacks in the car hit the grocery store grab a little bit of dinner maybe a couple extras out of the camping storage like a little camp table there and our chairs and away we go so that's it so far this morning we're gonna have some breakfast some fruit some oatmeal I'm gonna boil a little water here got my little camp stove with me I always use and I'll flip the camera back on when I'm I get to that point and uh, show you what we're having for breakfast and we're just going to kick back and relax a little bit. Probably just going to do an overnight this trip. Probably going to be back out next weekend. The weather's getting perfect. So um, again, we're out in the Hoosier National Forest. Only seen a couple cars. Didn't hear anybody all night. Still loving it out here. Just give you a quick walk around here to show you how big this little campsite is out here in the Hoosier National. This is the top of the campsite. The road kind of goes up and there's another little fire pit up here and people clean up your trash. Come on, there's no reason for that. Probably gonna bring a trash bag up here before we leave and pick that clean. But this is all the same campsite for the most part. So you pull in off the road, which you can't see over there, but you come down and there's us camped way down there. Another little tent site, 
Good place to hang some hammocks. Good place to hang a couple hammocks down there. This area has changed the way I camp, to be honest with you. We almost never go to campgrounds anymore because you can come out here, find you an empty spot, camp for free. Now, before anybody asks, I'm not going to be giving away where this site is. Some people probably already know. It's pretty, pretty easy to find place, but um, when you start uh, giving these little jewels away, then they cease to be jewels these days because people come out and trash them. So. If you do come out and use these areas, clean up after yourself, leave no trace, leave it better than you found it, and they'll be here for years to come. Got breakfast boiling, got some water going, a little collapsible cup and some easy instant oatmeal. Beautiful wife uh, just left to go hit a little convenience store we found online to uh, go pick up a little bit more food because we said it's too nice out, we're just going to stay another another night so uh, one day turns into two hammock camping out here so can't beat that I'm gonna make me some uh, instant oatmeal here apple cinnamon the good stuff and uh, have a little fruit tonight tonight dinner is gonna be probably just some salad stuff we've got in the uh, 12 volt fridge in the back of the car and uh, eat healthy relax yeah me eat healthy scary for this channel I know we got plenty of firewood it's going to be another good night. Looking forward to it. Be back in a little bit. You can't beat that. Cheap, light, fits in the backpack, even though we got a car with us today. Kind of prepping the feet up and trying to get myself in good enough health that I can do some backpacking here soon. So, going to enjoy this. Yeah, you don't always have to rough it. I see a lot of people talking about electricity and TVs, but like, being a YouTuber, I like other YouTubers, so... Kicked back here watching a Van City Van Life. Chrome and Cruise here on the phone while the wife's out of grabbing dinner for tonight. So Not really roughing it, but hey, it's all how you enjoy yourself. This is what I enjoy sometimes. And here I am, my beautiful wife back there, picks up sticks to start a fire. And I play with the camera, make her do all the work. So I can't be, should be. She's going to kill me when she sees this. look of anger so fire starters what works people use newspaper cardboard trash you got in the car dryer lint and uh, wax works really well uh, you can buy the little fire starter logs but you know what always works low torch I do eat healthy every now and then actually pretty good I'm not gonna lie just kind of cheating because we uh, had these left over from a uh, my wife being at work all week and they were left over in the cooler, so dinner. Well, everyone, another great weekend at the Hoosier National, minus a, a big old party down the way last night where they blared music till three in the morning, but eh. When you have free camping and people, sometimes you're gonna have that in probably the 20 trips I've made out here. First time I've ever had to deal with that, so uh, no big deal. Still slept good, it wasn't that terrible, so. Uh, Went around the campsite here this morning and picked up about half trash bag full of trash and cleaned up a little bit. Nothing but a couple pieces of wood left in the fire pit, so we're getting ready to pack her up here soon. Head towards the homestead and uh, get some more work done today. So we will see you next time. Just a quick pan around here while beautiful wife puts up her chair. To leave it better than you found it, everybody. We took about a trash bag full of trash out of here today. And Cleaned her up pretty good, so if you can pack it in, you can pack it out.